All right, well, hi everyone. I just wanted to go give you a quick uh, overview of a newer knife, which is the Carbon Knives Ahoy. Now, there is not a lot of material on the internet uh, in terms of uh, videos, and uh, uh, I thought uh, because it's such a great knife, to just give you a quick overview of uh, how it looks like, because I must say I'm absolutely stunned. I normally don't do this kind of knife reviews, uh, uh, but since this is also something maritime, at least as a maritime theme, and the materials are very well suited for use in the, in the maritime environment, I thought, uh, yeah, let's, uh, uh, let's, let's show you this. Um, <clears throat> this is just out. Uh, it comes with Mercata scales. Um, there are different colors. That is the green one. It was a little bit lighter when I, when I bought it. I have it now a week or so. Um, but there's also a natural, a black, a demon blue, I think, and a wood one. What is really nice is that this is a traditionally looking knife, but um, the materials are absolutely uh, uh, state of the art. The materials are really fantastic. Uh, it starts with uh, these uh, uh, titanium bolsters, titanium pocket clip. Uh, the whole frame is one piece titanium. Um, uh, the accessory is all stainless steel and the blade is uh, a nice spear point with a nice fuller uh, and the um, blade steel is a nice M390 steel. So also for the maritime environment where uh, I operate in, it, this, is, this is fantastic, it is very uh, corrosion resistant, it is a, a, a brilliant steel. Um, what else? Well, it's a, it's a frame lock. It's very well designed. It's beautiful uh, 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 craftsmanship. Look at all these details. Also the jimping here, here, and here. I mean, this is really absolutely uh, uh, fantastic. I like the blade shape. It, is an, it runs on uh, ceramic uh, ball bearings. It's absolutely uh, fantastic. It's, it's, it's something very good in the hand. Uh, it feels great. Uh, it is it is absolutely uh, uh, gorgeous. Um, I had another uh, knife under this uh, Extrema Ratio, uh, which is also kind of a maritime inspired knife. Uh, love it a lot. It's good. Uh, the blade steel is uh, M690. I quite like it, although I must say, in a real harsh uh, uh, maritime environment, I discovered that it also um, uh, rusts a little bit. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, it's also a good knife. It's a little bit, little bit bigger. Um, but uh, uh, I think that this is yeah, a more classy looking one. I must say, I recently also purchased this uh, Lion Steel. Uh, I think Nano it's called. Uh, it's in my... Uh, really favorite of a steel magna cut. It's absolutely brilliant, but um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a little bit stompy, it's a little bit short. I love the, uh, uh, the steel, it's really fantastic. I've been using it for, for a while. I also like, again, the green micarta, it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. But yeah, what I, also titanium frame, but what I don't like is, maybe I have a bad one, but the action is really, really bad in mine here. I cannot, I need to risk flick it really to, to get it open. I, I you know, uh, oiled it, I, uh, I cleaned it, I opened it, I looked at it. I don't know what it is, but you can even hear it. Nothing you have in this is smooth as butter. It's absolutely fantastic. It's an awesome knife. Um, what else? I don't have so many maritime knives, but just in comparison with uh, uh, the farm, Paramilitary 2, also my Carta. Uh, it's just uh, quite a bit smaller, uh, to be honest. Uh, I have a few other ones here, just as in comparison. There's the Pentagon. Uh, it is uh, just a home defense. Yeah, it's, it's just a smaller knife, but it's, a, I, I think, a more, more classy knife. It comes closer to, I think this is the line steel best manner so it comes closer to a gentleman's knife like uh, like this also m390 micarta and titanium 
uh, but this is a little bit of a shorter i like the spear point i think that's 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 really a nice feature but it's just the craftsmanship i don't know if you can see it here i'm, I'm not probably good at filming but it is so well done it is absolutely spot on everything and there is no play there is no everything is engineered to perfection it is so beautiful and i think uh, it, it's quite pricey but this this really justifies uh the price that you pay for it it's beautiful even the the inlaid anchor here in titanium i mean you you can't even feel anything it's so perfectly done it's uh, nicely centered everything it's 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 beautiful and it is so smooth it's absolutely gorgeous now if you're interested uh, in this knife i thought i'd show you some some images it comes in this uh, metal uh, metal box nothing spe spectacular it's just you know it's just a nice box um yeah, what else? It is it is really sharp. I've used it now for for a while. Uh, M three ninety is is really a good steel, and uh, the, uh, I've taken it out at sea for a couple of times. It was in contact with with uh, salt water. I washed it down with the uh, uh, the clean water at home, but uh, I I couldn't see anything, any corrosion, uh, nothing. Also not on the blade. Uh, so so far so good. I will update my experience in a later stage, but I thought this would be just nice to give you a quick, you know, overview of how this awesome knife uh, looks like, uh, since there's hardly anything uh, on the internet yet, except from, I think, Knife Center, where I bought it, uh, and uh, was it Blade Age Goo, I think, um, where they also offer this. An absolutely awesome, beautiful knife. Thanks for watching.